building of this was a huge deal to support rural America. It's for the, the families and the farms in, in the upper Midwest here where, where electricity wasn't a thing, you know. I know some people even, there's one or two that even work at the plant yet, they remember when electricity came to the farm. Our biggest thing is we're the, we're the first commercially available lignite fired plant in the Western Hemisphere. Unit 1 was commissioned in 1966, so we're 50 years old this year. You know, a lot of challenges through that. Some of the old guys, I say old guys, uh, that were in startup, they talk about what it took to get this place going and um, just a huge learning curve in the beginning to get to where we are now. We should all be stewards of the environment. I think, I think we can all agree that we all want clean air to breathe, clean water to drink and all that stuff. We also need power. The two have to find a mix and blend together. Uh, it's important to Basin because our head, we're headquartered here. We live here, all of us, we live here, we work here. We want the best for ourselves, for our neighbors, um, for our future generations too. If you're gonna produce power, there's, there's rules that you have to abide by. Some of the things we do are over and above what's required by the law, but we do it because it's what's best for us and, and what's best for everyone around us. The scrubber was the, was the big one. That kind of kicked off in 2005. It had to do with changing SO2 requirements. We didn't meet it as is, so we added the scrubber to meet that, and currently we remove about 98% um, and are well below our limit. The value that, that our board of directors sees in having coal-fired generation, good base load generation that's reliable and efficient, um, to put a $410 million scrubber on the oldest plant around shows their commitment to their membership and to rural America. Uh, our SNCRs are selective non-catalytic reduction for NOx control. A lot of modeling was done in the beginning to determine would the urea system work for our boiler, what levels and how many nozzles were going to be needed to inject the urea in and how much urea was going to be required and then find a contractor, um, partner with someone to, to build what we needed, design and build what we needed for our system. Urea was a good choice because Dakota Gasification is putting on a urea plant. So when they complete that, we'll be able to purchase urea from them to shorten up the shipping. When we're dealing in the marketplace, we, don't, we can't look and see what everybody else is charging for their power prices. Um, all we know, we can just do the best that we can do and, and hope that we're successful getting picked up in the marketplace. While we're a 25 mile rail to get our coal, we're essentially mine mouth. Um, and that makes a big difference when you're competing against guys who are coming out of the Powder River Basin hauling coal 500 miles. That puts a huge dent in your operating expense. So, so that, that keeps us very competitive up here in North Dakota. You know, we all, whether it be Minn Kota, ABS, us, um, Coal Creek Station, essentially we're all mine mouth facilities. And that's what keeps us all very competitive.